right? So for years, we've been thinking about consciousness in the way that we have. And it's to my total pleasure um, that these things have worked out. Um, as mentioned earlier, um, we've been going through a few different dynamic changes uh, within the organization itself. As uh, director and senior fellow at uh, the Brookings Institute, I can assure you, uh, my compatriots here, that everything that you've seen here so far is just the beginning. So I'd like... We talk about design often. Uh, at some point during any human's lifetime, they will use the word design and that's a big deal. <laughs> Aside from the and the a and the an in various languages, design is the fourth most popular word <laughs> used. Before design was constructed, we had the Mesopotamian era. And <laughs> we all know how that was. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, well, this is a, uh, as an ethnomusicologist, I, I've, I've seen it all, you know, as they say. I've seen as much as I've seen. Um, and, um, and so, I've been collecting various tunes, if you will, um, throughout the, the epochs and eras. And the thing that I've landed upon this evening, I want to share for you, uh, this is a Lemurian song. This is a civilization before the Mesopotamians, as, as many of you know, and they contained advanced technology, as we've been discussing earlier. Um, they had the ability to levitate and decrease the volume and mass of objects at will, uh, <laughs> utilizing sequenced thought processes, which uh, entail very detailed uh, memorization, visualization, and sensing. <laughs> okay, so here's that song. The sulfur honey style is Structure, ain't nothing but a thing. Oh yeah, molecular 
Because you think you know what you're doing Don't mean to think of science knows that you don't really know anything Just temporarily have a mild understanding of how things really are Thank you And thank you all for coming here um, Pop Tech is uh, without, uh, without a doubt. And it has been that way. Um, um, for long enough uh, to be here. And what I've learned um, through Pop Tech is innumerable, immeasurable, inconsistent, <laughs> constant, evading, ineffable, incongruous, malfeasant, <laughs> ilengadnor, isatur ofotanar achten in udurbe, minjam duruju vatala kadavosti turmegal chilovach, ich angschluch ach to flum ach to finde ach to schönen Motor, ich liebe dich, ich will floben, die Sahnen krank, konsonnen schan, sie so, tau, sie se chi so, no, so, fa, si, chi so, so, ha, sin, shu, za, ne, su, sha, sa, sa, yi, mo, zan, flo, zan, gi, and fun. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> of the Holy Spirit. No, just kidding. All right, here we go. <laughs> but here we go. of hands to ourselves in order for us to understand the choice is still important in a world where we gotta figure some stuff out yeah baby I love ya I love ya baby 
We heard enough of that in the 90s. Okay, um, listen, um, I want to talk to you about a couple uh, relatively real issues. Um, a lot of people wrote in on email um, and a couple other forms of communication that are essentially are all the same thing, but just branded different names. Um, <laughs> that innovation is an innovation unto itself. <laughs> At one point, innovation didn't exist. Someone had to create some kind of a word that created the feeling that it feels like to hear the word that we hear when we hear innovation. <laughs> innovation is a word that's only been around in the English vocabulary for 63 years. A lot of people don't know that, and if you did know that, um, that's great. <laughs> now, we all know that poverty is super easy to fix, and, <laughs> and using modular dynamicism, we can recreate, unfold, resequence, understand, and reshape the way we think of thought itself. <laughs> By constantly monitoring thought itself, it will not only lead you nowhere, <laughs> it will give you a headache. <laughs> so try not to do that. Instead, try to do something that's way outside of the box. Like some place that if you were to see how far away from the box you were, you wouldn't even be able to tell what that box was anymore compared to the landscape that you're comparing it against. <laughs> getting outside of the box is more than just getting out of a box and walking away. <laughs> As children know, sometimes boxes are very difficult to get out of. Why is it any different for us? <laughs> Between glass ceilings, dirt floors, and boxes, <laughs> we need to know that a bottom-up approach is not only an approach that starts from somewhere that we believe to be the bottom, <laughs> but an approach that was painted by several painters throughout the ages and the Achach that led us to understand where can we be sometime in the future from now. And I can guarantee you, you will move at least 20 feet within <laughs> the next hour. I can guarantee you that, and I have algorithms that can divine and predict that. <laughs> Utilizing movement prediction patterns, hair follicle samples that have been taken throughout the entire time that you've been here. <laughs> and of course, the common spectral analysis. Now, we know that everything here is an illusion and that we are somewhere else. But the cool thing about that is it feels pretty real. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's pretty convincing. <laughs> so, big credit to those, those people working hard there. <laughs> um, so... Why Camden, Maine? Simple answer. Because. What does because mean? <laughs> because has a B in it, at least one C, and a couple vowels. This combination of letters and vowels together to create a fairly pronounceable word gives us the strength and the power as individuals and as human beings. 
to seek within ourselves not only the triumphant remorse of those who have compelled against us in a way that does not, not necessarily benefit us in the long term, but give us the strength in the midterm to show how the reversal of those roles of which we have come fairly accustomed to, let's, let's admit that, <laughs> to acquiesce and reform and remodulate the world around us. Internally, we're pretty gross. There's a lot of <laughs> liquid and tissues and things, and it's, it's pretty gross to think about. So I would like to, uh, this is a song that I'd like to uh, dedicate to all the gross things that we are walking around. And, um, and also just a celebration of all of you guys here, the people up there as well. Um, <laughs> let's not forget them. Um, there's some people behind the walls as well, uh, walking around and doing things as well. And there's some people behind here. There's actually four people running this entire show technically. That's it, there's just four people. They can divide into five people per person. So there seems to be a lot of people back there, but they're all being controlled by one central consciousness. Okay, so anyways, without further ado, this is a, this is a song, this is my, um, I have 1.5 songs. This song is, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. That's not it, that's just a warm up. Here we go. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Some people talk like this. Other people talk like this. Some people are like this. Some people are like that. Some people are like this. I don't know why they're like that. <laughs> Real quickly, um, I'd like to uh, thank PopTech. Um, I'm the first person to, to thank PopTech. Um, but <laughs> I would like to <laughs> thank PopTech. Um, it's been an awesome ride. I mean, like, I, I, you know, the first time I came here, I met some ridiculous people. And uh, <laughs> the second time, some more ridiculous people. It keeps getting ridiculouser. But it's a just amazing concentration of people around you. But also, not only knowing that whoever you're talking to, even a volunteer, oftentimes you're talking to a volunteer, someone who has a sign on them that says volunteer. And you're talking to them, and you find out that they're like a theoretical physicist that works at some laboratory somewhere, and you're like, why, what? <laughs> so I think that's important to realize. Every person in the world around you is really good at something, you know what I mean? So like, if, if this is the sample, you know, here in this situation, it's kind of a special situation, but if you go out in the world, all around you constantly, there are amazing people, and you'll never know, you know? Unless, unless they have a badge on, but like, <laughs> um, you'll never know unless you, you know, unless you ask them. And oftentimes when I ask people things, they oftentimes will oftentimes say something often. And the more often that I notice that they're saying things that I think that they're going to say over and over again, which would classify as, as often, um, I feel as though there's a tranquil sunset setting in. Um, over my mind, which indicates that the world is going to be a pretty cool place at some point, and then it's going to be horrible again. But then it's going to be really cool, and then it's going to be not so good, and then it'll be pretty decent for a while, and then it's going to be like, uh-oh. Um, <laughs> and after all, that's the engine of reality. But that gets us a little bit stronger. So with that um, knowledge that I've gotten um, from and an amazing dodo case, which I still have, I do, I do still have it. Although I did drop it once and that little frame cracked, I had to glue it. But anyways, the thing is, that I'm, what I'm trying to tell you here today, stay in school, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's a good place for kids. And I know a lot of you parents here are not into school, but I'm here to reconvince you. Putting kids in school is a good idea, okay? Well, I've talked to a lot of you guys, and you're like, I'm not putting my kids in school. I get it, and it's super like punk rock, I get it. But consider it. Okay, all right, so this is my last song. This is about, uh, this is about love, because um, at the end of the day, that's pretty much all you got. Um, and uh, that's an important ingredient, as we saw in The Fifth Element, and I think that <laughs> we need to recognize um, all the things that influ influence us. So this is my last song. Um, thank you again so much, everybody. This is always an honor to be here, and you guys always make me feel so incredibly welcome and I actually feel comfortable now going like, oh, maybe it's not an accident I'm here. So thanks a lot for <laughs> letting me blend in. I do appreciate that. Thank you. So here we go. Power moves, let's do this. That's not it. Okay, here we go. I've been taking lots of time, putting it in my pocket. Don't know how I got there, but I forgot just a little bit more. Every time I think. Yes, now yes, every day. Cause I'm trying to be the thing that I have never been before. Yeah, but I got you now, child. 
child, children, yeah. All the world can listen to the music. We got some doubt. Got everything he wants to know, yeah. Take a little bad, but you mean ah, 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 ah. Get you on a fan. There's no excuses anymore. You gotta do what you do. If you ain't doing it, then what are you doing? Probably the antithesis of something that you do, and that's okay, baby. Because I wanna tell you, whoa, what can I say? Everything so good. So when do you do this? Thing? Tell me what you got off that. What can I do? This? Il faut les rassurer son. Mira va chenus son gonfle à Mirabel. Fonds à ramener chlu sa mel. Qui mec son mot qu'on voit. C'est une chambre en gargamel. Faut c'est qui comme un qui chenne flou comme dans cinq lignes de fleurs. Moi ça. Yes, and that you kiss on one. 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 What she's saying. Everybody's talking. Everybody's talking.
you guys so much. Have a great night tonight. Thank you so much. I'll see you a little bit later. Thank you, thank you, thank you.